to my class. My name is Patricia and today we are going to learn about making sentence, Swahili sentence or sentence construction. As you can see the chart here, it shows personal pronouns, subject prefix and tenses which we have past, present and future tense. So when we combine personal pronoun, subject prefix and tenses plus verbs, we can make Swahili sentence anytime when you want to make swahili sentence you start with subject prefix so as the chart shows here we have subject prefix ni which represent personal pronoun mimi which in english is i and we have subject prefix u which stands to represent personal pronoun wewe which is you and we have subject prefix are, which tend to represent personal pronoun ye, ye which means he or she and we have subject prefix to stand to represent cc which means we and we have subject prefix m which tend to represent personal pronoun nini uh, which is you all and we have subject prefix wa stand to represent personal pronoun wow which means they so we have subject prefix ni u a to m wa so anytime when you want to make a sentence you start with subject prefix then you move forward to the tenses verbs all right right now i've just given you three simple tenses we have past tense present tense and future tense starting with past tense for the past tense we use li l i so when you want to make a sentence you start with subject prefix you put li which is past tense and you add a verb okay let's take a, a first example here nili nunua machungwa so ni is the subject prefix remember and li is the past tense and nunua which means buy and machungwa is orange so when you want to say i bought some oranges in swahili we say nili nunua machungwa nili nunua machungwa okay the second example is Uli fundisha vizuri. Uli fundisha vizuri. U stands to represent you, personal pronoun you. So, uli fundisha vizuri. Li is the past tense and fundisha is the verb vizuri. So, uli fundisha vizuri. That means you taught very well. You taught very well. Uli fundisha vizuri. Fundisha is to teach. So, you taught very well. Okay, another example here is alikula chakula. Alikula chakula. So, remember for the past tense we use li. So, a stands to represent he or she. Ye ye. Ali, he or she, Ali, Li is for the past tense and Kula is the verb which is eat and Chakula is food. So Ali Kula, Chakula, that means he or she ate some food. Another example is uh, Tuli Cheza, Tuli Cheza. Tulicheza. To stand to represent personal pronoun cc, which in English means we. So, tulicheza. We played. We played. Tulicheza. Okay. So, to is for the personal pronoun cc. Li represent the past tense. And cheza is the verb mliimba vizuri sana m is the subject prefix and li is the past tense 
imba which is a verb and vizuri sana that means very well so mli imba vizuri sana uh, that means you sang very well you sang so we use you because of m the subject prefix that represents you all which is nini in swahili so walikuja jana walikuja jana wa stand to represent the subject prefix and the personal pronoun of wow which means they and li is uh the past tense and kuja is a verb and jana means yesterday so wali kuja jana that means they came yesterday okay let's take a look for the present tense for the present tense we deal with the simple present tense and present continuous tense so na stand to represent the present tense so ni na nunua machungwa so for the past tense we said ni li nunua machungwa but for the present tense we put na after the subject prefix so ni na nunua machungwa so ni is for the subject prefix and na is um the present tense and nunua is to buy machungwa some oranges so ni na nunua machungwa that means i am buying some oranges and unafundisha vizuri unafundisha vizuri is the same o is for the subject prefix which means you or wewe una na is the present tense and fundisha is the verb which means to teach vizuri sana which is very good so una fundisha vizuri sana that means you are teaching very well anakula chakula na is for the present tense remember so anakula a stands to represent the subject prefix and that means he or she anakula chakula na is for the present tense and kula is the verb that means eat chakula is the food so anakula chakula so a is for the subject prefix that represents personal pronoun ye ye which means he or she so he or she is eating some food so the next example is tunacheza for the past tense we said tulicheza for the present tense we say tunacheza so tunacheza na is for the present tense and to represent the subject prefix which stand to represent personal pronoun sisi so tunacheza cheza is for the i mean cheza is a verb which means play so tunacheza that means we are praying we sisi we are praying and mnaimba vizuri sana m mm, is the subject prefix that represent you all so mnaimba vizuri sana that means you are singing very well or you sing very well so the next is wanakuja leo wa is the subject prefix that represents wao which means they so wanakuja leo that means they are coming today and for the past tense we said wali kuja jana jana means yesterday and leo means today so present tense we say wana kuja leo okay let's take a look for the last part which is future tense for the future tense we use ta t a ta ta so ni 
Ta nunua machungwa. We said for the present tense, we, we said nina nunua machungwa. And past tense, we said nili nunua machungwa. But for the future tense, we use ta, which means Ta stands to represent the future tense. So, ni ta nunua machungwa. Ni is for the subject prefix and ta stands to represent personal. I mean, stands to represent, sorry, stands to represent the tense. And nunua is a verb and machungwa is some oranges. So, ni ta nunua machungwa, that means I will buy some oranges. Uta fundisha vizuri. Uta fundisha vizuri. U is personal pronoun that represents wewe, which means you. So, uta fundisha vizuri. Wewe uta fundisha vizuri. That means uh, you will teach very well. You will teach very well. U is the personal pronoun uh, that, that represents you and ta is standing to represent the tense and fundisha is teach visuri is very well so uta fundisha visuri that means you will teach very well atakula chakula atakula chakula ta represent uh, the tense, the future tense. So, ata kula chakula. Kula is a verb and chakula is some food. So, ata kula, a stands to represent the personal pronoun he or she. So, he or she will eat some food. Tutacheza, 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 that means we will pray. We will pray. To stand to represent personal pronoun. Um, I mean personal pronoun we, which means sissy. And ta is for the future tense. And cheza is a verb that means pray. So to tacheza, that means we will pray. Mtaimba vizuri sana. Mtaimba vizuri sana. M mm, is the subject prefix and ta tend to represent the future tense and imba is a verb that means uh, sing and vizuri is very good. So mtaimba vizuri sana that means you will sing very well, or you will sing very good. So, watakuja kesho. Watakuja kesho. Uh, wa stands to represent the subject prefix, which means wow or they. And ta is the future tense, and kuja is to come. So, watakuja kesho. That means they will come. Tomorrow, they will come tomorrow. But here for the present tense, we said wanakuja leo. Leo is today and kesho is tomorrow. That stands for the future tense, watakuja kesho. So this is the end of today's topic. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Asante, kuaheri. Oh,